to be productive in your business place, you need to have some business tools that will help you achieve the productivity you desire. And one such tool you can use to be productive is a mantle planner. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a mantle planner in Word. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's create our mantle planner. Having open Word, I go over to the layout tab, then I click on orientation, then I choose landscape. Next, I'm going to go ahead and decrease my margin. So I'll decrease the top and bottom margins as well as the left and right margins. So to do that, I go to margins and I choose narrow. Next, I enter the title of my template. Mantle planner, hit enter. Then I'll say January 2022, hit enter. Next, I'm going to go ahead and insert a table. So to do that, I go over to the insert tab I click on table then I go ahead and click on insert table number of columns I'll make it seven because we have seven days in a week and number of rows I'll make it six then I click on ok to insert my table next I go ahead and enter the days of the week on the top row so I'll start by typing Monday Perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and enter the days of the month. But before I do that, I need to confirm which day is the first day of the month of January. Take note, I'm creating a monthly planner for January. So I check my calendar from here. And as you can see, this is January calendar. And the first day of January falls on Saturday. So I'll start my number from Saturday, that is first, down to 31st of January, which ends on Monday. So I go ahead and click here under Saturday. Then I start my number from there. So I enter one. I go to the next cell. Click in there, enter two. I can also use the tab key on the keyboard. So if I press tab, it will take me to the next cell right here. Three, four, five. So I go ahead and do this pretty quick. Perfect. As you can see, if the month were to have started on Friday, we wouldn't have used this particular rule or wouldn't have created this particular rule because everything would have shifted one step back. One would have been on Friday, two on Saturday, and at the end, 31st would have been on this very cell where we have 30. But to be a safer side, always make sure you insert seven rows. If you can remember, in the beginning, we created a table of seven columns and six rows but in the end we are getting seven rows and the seventh row has come as a result of using the tab key on the keyboard so if i click at the end of this cell and press the tab key another row will be created but we don't need this row so i reverse it now that my table is inserted and i've entered my text next i'm going to go ahead and format my whole work so i'll start from the title so i highlight the whole of this then i go to the home tab then I'm going to go ahead and center it. I'll also change the text to uppercase. And I'm going to go ahead and bold it. Next, I select mantle planner. Then I'll increase the size to 20. And then January 2022, I increase the size to 14. Perfect. Next, I customize my table. So I'll select the top row. Then I'll go over to the layout tab and the table tools. And I'm going to go ahead and align everything center. Currently, it is set to align top left. So I click on align center. And I'll increase the height of the row to 0.7. Just like that. One other thing I can do here is go back to the home tab. And I'll change the case to uppercase. I make it bold. Next, I highlight the rest of the table, excluding the top row. Then I go over to the layout tab again 
and I'm going to go ahead and increase the height and I will make it 2.5 with this my planner will fit well in one page one other thing I can do is I can provide shading for the top row so I'll just select everything just like this I go to table design and the table tools I click on shading and I can choose any of these colors so I'll go ahead and choose this green awesome and now my monthly planner is done a quick tip I'm going to show you is that take note we have created a monthly planner for January so to create a monthly planner for February that is the next month you need to make sure you go to your calendar then you go ahead and determine which day will be the first day for February so if I click on the month here and I choose February you see that February starts on Tuesday so all what you need to do for February monthly planner is that you just come to Tuesday here and you go ahead and enter your days accordingly but before you do that make sure you remove all the numbers for the other days and you go ahead and start your number from Tuesday now one last thing I'm going to show you is how you can save your web template so to save your template go over to file and click on save as in here you can go ahead and choose the location you want to save your file I'm going to take mine to the downloads folder to the file name I go ahead and enter the name I want to give to it it has already picked the title of my template and I think this is cool so I don't need to do anything here but you can go ahead and change it if you want save as type I drop down the arrow here and I'm going to go ahead and choose web template take note the default folder for saving template is the custom office templates folder and remember I've selected download so I'll take it back to downloads and I'll go ahead and hit save right here so saving your document as a template anytime you open the template it will create a new document for you and you don't need to mess with the original template so with this you can increase the productivity of your business so that's it on how to create a monthly planner in Word. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching, and I'll see you in the next one.